Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this related posts section to your Blogger website. So here we can see we have these three posts displayed over here. We also have a hover effect and this is also completely responsive. So here we can see this is how it will look on a smartphone. So in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your Blogger website. Let's get started. <laughs> Right here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and here we have these posts and for each of the posts we have some labels. Now we're going to use these labels to identify which of the posts are related to a particular post. So for example if you're displaying this post then the related post of this post will be the post which has these labels. So here we can see this post has a label of AI so this can be related to this post and if you scroll down we have this post which has a label of tips. So this can also be a related post of this post. So in this way, we're going to identify which of the posts are related to a particular post and we're going to display them in this design right here. So first of all, let's open our website and let's see how it looks. So let's click on view blog. So this is how our website looks right now. Now we're going to display the related posts inside a post. So if you go inside one of these posts and if you scroll down, we want to display the related post somewhere over here. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's see how the website is structured. So here we can see we have this division with the class of post bottom and I think we can add the related post just outside this post bottom division. So let's go to our theme code and let's see where this division is located. So let's go over here to theme and by the way I'm using this theme called Contempo Light, which comes by default with blogger. So let's go ahead and click on this arrow and let's click on edit html. Right now let's click on this button and uh, let's click on blog1 which is the widget that displays the blog. So here we have the blog widget. Let's scroll down and let's look for the division with the class of post bottom. And here we have this division with the class of post bottom. So let's add some content over here and let's see whether this is the correct position. So here just after this post bottom division, let's create a heading and I'll just tap testing and let's see whether we are in the correct position. So let's click on save and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now here we can see it says testing. So we are in the correct position. Now we need to add the code of our design. But before that, we need to fetch all the posts that are related to this post. So let's go back to our theme code. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to add an if condition. And we need to add this if condition because we want to display the related posts only on this content page. We don't want to display it in the home page. So let's create an if condition. So I'll just type less than B colon if C O N D for the condition. And for the condition, let's type data colon blog dot page type and let's set it to item. So this post over here is called an item. So if it is an item, then all the code inside this if condition will be executed. So let's close the if condition right here. Right now, the next thing we will do is we will loop through all the labels. So for that, let's tab less than b colon loop. And for the loop, you need to have two attributes. One is values. So let's tap values. And let's set the values to data colon post dot labels and the next attribute is called var and we can call this anything we want i'll just call it label so this is going to be the name for each of the labels so let's close the loop over here right now the next thing we will do is we will use json feed api to get the data of the blogger website so for the let's type script and let's tap src and in that we can add a link so here if we just type forward slash feeds forward slash posts forward slash default and if i just type question mark alt equals json in script ampersand and since we're using xml we have to type amp semicolon as well and then if you type callback and if we just add a function so i'll just call it related posts now what will happen is that it will give us all the posts of the blogger website and we can use this related posts function to do something with the data. 
So I'll just simply go ahead and display the data. So I'll just create a script tag to write some JavaScript. And uh, let's create a function called related posts. And we also get some data from this uh, function. So I'll just call it JSON. So I'll just type JSON over here. And here I'll just console.log the data. So I'll just type console.log JSON. And now let's save this. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now if you right click over here and go to inspect. And if you go to the console, here we can see we have the data. So if I just open this, and if I just open the feed, here we can see we have entry. And if I open entry, here we can see we have nine posts displayed over here. And uh, here we also have another list of data. And if I open this, here we have nine posts as well. Now here we are getting the data two times. That's because we have two labels in our post. So we are basically looping through each of the labels and we are just running the script and we are getting the data. Right now it is fetching all the posts in our blogger website. Now what we need to do is we need to get the posts of only these labels. So for that let's go back and here instead of src we need to tap expr colon src and now here we can add some data from our blogger theme code. So right now we can see that we are looping through the labels and we are calling it label. So we can just add this label over here inside the script. So first of all, let me just add double quotes over here inside this single quotes. And I'll just add the double quotes over here as well. And here after default, we need to type forward slash hyphen forward slash. And here we need to add the label. So I'll just type double quotes plus and double quotes to start it again. And here inside these two pluses, we can add the label. So for that, you have to type data colon label dot name. Right now, let's see whether it works. So let's click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And let's right click over here and go to inspect. And let's go to the console. And let's see whether we have the correct post first. So let's go to feed. And let's go to entry and here we have three posts so this is for the first label which is ai so let's go back to our list of posts and let's see whether the data is correct so here we can see we have this post with a label of ai we have another post and if you scroll down we have one more post with a label of ai so we have three posts let's see what are the titles so this is how to make your life easy with chat gpt then we have best image generation tools and then we have AI things you should learn. So let's see whether we are getting the correct data. So let's go back to the console and let's open the entry and here we can see for the title it says how to make your life easy with chat GPT. So this is the first post. Let's open the second one and here it says best image generation tools. Let's open the third post and it should be this post right here AI things you should learn. So let's open the third post and here we can see it says AI things you should learn. So in this first list of data, we are getting three posts with a label of AI. And uh, then the next label that we have over here in this post is tips. So if you go back to our list of posts, here we can see for tips, we have one, two, three, and four, five. So we have five posts in total. So let's go back to our post. And let's open the second list of posts and let's go to feed and let's go to entry and here we can see we have five posts and everything is working all right so we are getting the correct posts displayed over here now let me just go ahead and uh, display the titles over here so that it's easy for us to inspect the code so let's go back to our theme code and here i'll just write some code to display all the titles so if you go back to the feed here we can see we are getting the feed and in that we have the entry and in the entry we have all these posts and for each of the posts we have title and in title we have dollar symbol t and in that we have the title so let's go back and uh, here first of all i'll just store it inside a variable so i'll just type let posts equals 
json.feed.entry and now let's loop through all these posts so let's type posts dot for each and for each of the post I'll just call it post and let's create an arrow function and here in this function I'll just create an s3 so let's type const s3 equals document dot create element and here let's type s3 and I just type s3 dot inner html and here I just type post dot title dot dollar symbol t and this will give us the title now we need to add this s3 inside our html so here I'll just create a division so I just type div and I'll just give it a class of related posts and I'll just close the division over here and here in the script I'll just type const related posts equals document dot query selector related posts and here I'll just add all the s3 inside the related posts so let's type related posts dot append child s3 right now let's see whether it works so let's save it and let's go back to our website and uh, let's refresh this page and uh, I think we have some problems in the course so let's right click and go to inspect and let's see what's the problem so here we can see it says related posts has already been declared so if you go back here we can see we already have this function called related posts so I'll just name this related posts container here also I'll just type container right now let's save it now let's go back to the website and let's refresh this page and here we can see we have these titles displayed over here so these three titles are for the label of AI and then these five titles are for the label tips now let's open another post and let's see whether it is working for every post so let's open this post right here let's scroll down and for this we have these two labels and now here we can see we have these many posts so if you go back to the post here we can see technology and tips have a lot of posts so this one is a post then we have this post right here then we have this one so we have a lot of posts but here we can see some of these posts are duplicates so if you take a look at this here we can see we have macbook shortcut keys and here also we have macbook shortcut keys so that's because if you go to the posts for macbook shortcut keys we have technology and tips so both these labels are added for this post right here that's why we are getting this post two times so we need to eliminate the duplicate post as well and we have some more things to do so the first thing we need to do is we need to eliminate the duplicate posts the next thing we need to do is we need to display just three of these posts and we also have to randomize these posts and then the last thing we need to do is we need to eliminate the post which is currently displayed over here so right now this is the post how search engine works but if you scroll down here also we have this post how search engine works so we need to eliminate the current post from these related posts and then we can simply add this design to our blogger website so we will do all of that in the next video all right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,